All right. You ready for the next person? Ready as long as they. All right. It's Cosmo Creator. All right. Deck of your choice. Would like to know the significance of the last 10 years of their life. The significance of the last 10 years? Like the events of the last 10 years, I believe. Okay. No problem. No problem. No problem. Cosmo Creator. I thought he was going to ask me about Cliff High. <laughs> Cosmo, listen, I want to tell you something, baby. I love Cosmo. I really do. I really do love Cosmo. Okay? So I want Cosmo to know Cliff High is one of the most famous people I've ever interacted with on YouTube. Right? The Cliff High video that I did, the interview that I did, has 25... So it's the second most viewed video on my channel, right? I give Cliff High hell sometimes. Do I give him enough hell? <laughs> Whenever I talk about Cliff High, I always go out of my way to make sure that I return balance to the force and talk shit about him and point out that there's a lot, a lot of problems with what he does and what he's engaged in. So I want Cosmo Creator to know the primary reason that I do that, whenever I think about giving Cliff High any praise at all, I always kick him in the teeth as well because I'm trying to keep Cosmo Creator happy. So Cliff High has got a bajillion people and he appears on my channel. I get 25,000 views. Cosmo Creator takes time out of his day to make a clip video of me that generates eight views. And I think about him every time I think about Cliff High. And whenever I say anything about Cliff High that's even remotely positive, I always say to myself, I got to talk to Cosmo too here. I got to make sure Cosmo knows I'm not drinking the Cliff High medicine. Huh? Hope you notice that, buddy. I think about you often. Really, truly do. Really, truly do. When I say I love you, I love you, I love you, I truly do, Cosmo. We're tight. Me and Cosmo, me and Cosmo, Kelly, listen to me. <laughs> I'm listening. Check this out. Listen to me. Listen to me, ho. Check this out. <laughs> me and fucking Cosmo Creator travel through motherfucking time together. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay? Me and Cosmo Creator are like fucking this. Cosmo Creator. What was the last 10 years of his fucking life? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> That we're here. I gotta get this freaking mouse pad on. I gotta get this freaking thing. This thing. Be sound that we're here. Cosmo says he's trying to make it rough for you. Yeah, no shit. That's what Cosmo does. One hand he gives, the other hand he takes fucking away. Oh, and this, of course, is the deck that makes the fucking camera go bananas. Yep. What did, did we figure out a trick last night? And you know what's crazy about it is that it seems as though the more that we that the camera works with the deck, the less that it likes it, right? Yes. It's nuts. Let's take a look what we got. I don't know. Let's see what we have here. Deck card number one, temperance. The balancing, the active balancing out of elements, not just the, the alchemical process, the alchemist through force of will, bringing those energies together. Balancing light and dark, mixing the right amount of tough love, tough love, if it's not truly balanced, if you don't have the love and it's just tough, it's just a nightmare fucking experience and a dad that doesn't fucking get it. Come on. Come on. I think if you put your hands like over the pattern, that stops it. Yeah. <laughs> it stops. I might, I might actually get another one of these decks to do something to the back of them.
So what an origin point, temperance. Makes sense in a way. Next card up, the devil. Now look, if we're talking about balancing out elements, look at the devil, the classic devil card with this man and this woman with their backs turned against each other. This ancient primal fire. Whenever I see the devil with, with the man and woman in this card, especially in this deck, I always see that which brings us together is oftentimes that which breaks us apart. Whenever I see this, there's a particular iconography in this in this in this version of the devil. You know what I see here? Look at this. Look at the Roshark test. You see this great part in the middle? Mm -hmm. I see a broken heart. I see that too. I said I saw that before you said that. So the fire that brings us together is the fire that often breaks us apart. The devil, I mean, to, to call this the classic heavy metal card, I say that for multiple reasons. It's cool, the devil, it's scary, rah. But this devil looks a little bit sad and forlorn. The reason that it's angry, the reason that it expresses itself with its bat wings spread out to be so impressive it's because maybe it's scared that it's going to be under attack. Why is the why is the adversary the adversary? Why is he protesting? This is like, especially in this deck, that I love the Aquarian deck, but especially this is one of my favorite devil cards, and I'll tell you why. This is like, look at this guy. He's like the Holden Caulfield of devils. You see? Everyone's phoning. And if you look at him too, it's like the man and the woman are having their whole little romance there. And he's in the middle there. I see, I see the parents splitting up, and it's the angry teenager in the middle rebelling. It's his natural act, this primal force of, of rebelling. But it is motivated. And the wings outstretched like a puffer fish. And deep down inside, why don't people just come, to, come back together? And look at that beautiful moon above him, balancing everything out, reminding him, don't look at the conflict. Look up. You're magical. Fly. Fly me to the moon. Love this devil. The Page of Pentacles. A young man contemplating the world, material possessions, wealth, figuring it out, figuring out his way in the world. Wow. I'm already seeing kind of a pattern, kind of a dreamscape here that, that, that I think I'll be able to. I'm interested in seeing what these other cards are to see if it's coming through. Ah, the five of pentacles. Look at these two, this man and this woman here. The nature and state of the material world. Are they? Do they have their heads bowed in reverence as they make their way solemnly into the church, or are they oppressed by the nature of material things, the rat race, and the need to struggle outside of the Garden of Eden? Look at this page of pentacles staring down. The Ace of Swords. Look at this. Remember, I was just looking at that man and the woman split up in the devil card. Look at this ace of swords. Ace, the, the energy itself, swords, the suit of thoughts, ideas, conceptions, and, 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 and contemplations and philosophies, strategies. What do strategies do? They can put balance to the world, but they can also separate things. And also lets us know that positive and negative are perceptions. They are. What's Which of these flowers is on the left and which of these flowers is on the right? Well, it depends if we're looking at what side of the sword we're looking at. Here's what I see. In this act of alchemical temperance, I see a man and a woman getting together, starting a new life, this primal flow of energies, men and women. This could be your the act of your creation and arrival on planet Earth, Cosmo. The devil. 
looking at the beginning of our journey. We have hopes and dreams and thoughts and ideas of how things might work out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Did the lovers break up for a reason? Was their work done? Is it a tragedy? Or is it just the way things are? And the only tragedy is the tragedy that we choose to see there. And how much of our actions are manifestations of aggression on the physical plane are things that really are organic and part of our nature and what part of them are just reactions to the world we see around us leaving the spot of our youth leaving the beginning of our journey we turn away from the thoughts and ideas and these feelings that are so often difficult to control and we look to control the world around us and we may get a fair measure of success and we may come to repeat a process that we may have seen earlier. Maybe this time we think we're gonna, unlike those other people that did some stuff one way or the other, we're gonna figure it out, we're gonna do this. But making your way through the actual physical drudgery of life, making it happen, even in commitment, there still can be simply the toil and that where we conclude and where we end is the notion of this. The narrative that we see upon these things, the way that we interpret these things, are a choice. Ideas are ideas. They're conceptualizations, they're concepts and philosophies and ideas. They are not the thing themselves. So, when dealing with the thoughts, think about turning away from the thought and looking at the beauty of the things around you, the natural balance and creative spark of life, of yin and yang dancing eternally around each other through romance, through comedy, through tragedy. Reading lots to ponder. That's what we're going to get out of Cosmo. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Love you, brother. Fucking love you, brother, man. Hope you got something out of it. Lord knows I did. I thought that was beautiful. Not okay. just, I thought the cards were beautiful. Not, you know, my fucking reading is my fucking reading. All right. 